So today we're going to be talking a little bit about the concept of a functional state. What we have observed at Strategies over the years is that every single development strategy, whether it is developed by a government at national level, government at local level, a development partner, even the continental strategies, they are premised on a key factor that there exists a, fun a functional state that is a state with the desire and the competency to develop in that particular area. Whether it is health, whether it is education, whether it is employment. However, what we have seen over the years is that one, this presumption can be false in some cases, and most certainly the functionality of the state varies from one state to another. And yet we are often bringing development strategies that are the same for all states. So what we would like to see happen at strategies is for the functionality of the state to be assessed at the beginning of every single development strategy and for the strengthening of this functionality to be an integral part of every development strategy. What are we talking about when we say the functional state? In our assessment, it is three major things. The presence of the state, the ability of the state to offer security and sustainability, and the ability of the state to give its citizens hope. What do we mean by the presence of the state? The first thing which is often ignored is life cycle administration being able to deliver birth certificates, national identity cards, death certificates. One of the key factors in Africa that is hindering development is conflict. And when you go to the conflict regions, from the Sahel to the Horn of Africa, to Northern Cameroon and Northern Nigeria, you, might, you find one thing in common. In the areas where there is conflict, the state is almost absent. These are the parts of the country where people don't have birth certificates, they don't have national identity cards. The state itself is unable to know exactly who its citizens are in these areas. Presence also means beyond this life cycle administration, can be measured at a social level. Do, do the citizens have basic services for the survival of human beings? Water, electricity, healthcare, education. Do, do, is the state present also at an economic level? Are there roads? Is there education to provide skills for people who will have employment later on? Is there economic infrastructure to enable people to have to do business how is land managed do we have the, the do citizens have the possibility to access land to own land in order to be able to make investments so the presence of a, of the state is something that we need to assess very very carefully and determine in development strategies how we reinforce that presence because we are already in the situation today in Africa where when the state has been absent, non-state armed groups have been able to move in, give people any one of those services. Sometimes it comes under the guise of security. Sometimes it is economic benefits. Sometimes they come with so-called education, but they are able to take over part of the presence of the state 
and that is what makes them able to install themselves and to become a real threat then to this functional state.